Hey, what is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to be talking about how many grafts do I have still available in my donor area after my two hair transplants. I'm going to be discussing that with Dr. Uzgur from HLC. I decided to visit HLC personally because it's one of the very few clinics in Turkey where every hair transplant is being done by an actual doctor. Well, that means that Dr. Cengiz, Dr. Elif, Dr. Akin and Dr. Umut are going to be doing the extraction, incision making and the implant plantation themselves. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's get right into it. How many surgery you had? We had two. Uh, so I had two surgeries. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one has been done on the frontal hair in the central region like mm -hmm. that. 3,500 grafts. The second 3,500. 3,500. The second one behind this previously implanted zone. 1,000 grafts. So we have 4,500. Now my question is, what's the potential that I still have here using body hair grafts mm -hmm. and also oh, scalp? Yeah, scalp also. Okay. Do you remember uh, what was the density? I don't remember the density to be honest, especially not for the first one. The second one was around thirty to thirty-five grafts per square centimeter. And what about the medication? Do you use medication? Uh, I'm using topical finasteride. Let's check. The quality of hair and it so reserve. The first? Yeah, okay. of course. Could you look down, please? The quality of your hair is great. The, the only problem is the density. Mm -hmm and also uh, the donor harvesting looks not a, a homogeneous mm -hmm. uh, it looks like a patch patch mm -hmm. um, if we, you have some reserve uh, but the hair you know is very valuable uh, if we can work one more time uh, and if we can uh, make a camouflage for this patching uh, it will looks uh, better in my opinion mm -hmm. very difficult to calculate how many graft uh, you have as a reserve i think is between 1000 and 1500 mm -hmm. but uh, let me measure all the donor and uh, i will uh, mm -hmm. tell you exactly number okay. could you look up please the beard quality looks good the density is not high mm -hmm. like how many per square maybe 20 it looks like 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 to MB. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, as I told you, I have to measure mm -hmm. all the area and the density, and I will let you know. Mm -hmm. The uh, advantage is the uh, color difference is not too much between hair and scal uh, beard. Uh, it's good, uh, but beard hair, you it's know, much thicker in my case. Always thicker. Uh, that's why we cannot put just beard hair on bold areas. We have to mix it with skull. Uh, you have every area some uh, scalp hair, own hair. Uh, that's why it also makes sense to put it between scalp hair, some mm -hmm. uh, beard hair, mm -hmm. uh, but not on the front. Uh, yeah. Also, you know, uh, we have to put on the front just scalp, but yeah. we can use beard hair for the top and for the crown. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where is important for you? Uh, what is your wish? What uh, is your goal? Like, this is important. If there is some, some maybe like less density, I don't mind about this, but this is like the top usual, the mid scalp should be like somehow filled out, filled out, you know, that's what I would like. Yeah, exactly. Anything below this, I mean, I'm fine if it's not that dense. We have to increase the density on this area, uh, how much is possible with scalp and uh, beard. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's calculate all the uh, reserves and I will let you know how many graft uh, we can take mm -hmm. and then we can decide about the uh, density. The density. Okay. This sketch basically represents all the thinning areas on my mid scalp and crown and what Dr. Uzgur is doing right now is trying to calculate first how large the area is in square centimeters so we can find out how many grafts are required. I have still around 1000 to 1500 grafts available in here which I'm quite surprised about because I thought it's gonna be way less than 1000 okay I thought it's gonna be like five six hundred anyways very happy about that I have another 1500 
ish uh, available underneath my chin so body grafts probably we can push it uh, all the way up to 2000 if we extract everything what's in here which I don't really mind uh, now here you can see these two squares these are both uh, 25 centimeter square of surface so together 50 square centimeters if we plant like 30 grafts per each square we need one 1500 grafts for this which uh, should be still in here theoretically probably add some beard grafts to do like a nice density of 35 to 40 grafts per square centimeter which would uh, nicely cover up my uh, mid scalp also there is going to be one very interesting thing next week we're going to be doing the same thing uh, analyzing my donor uh, but now from the FUT uh, kind of standpoint. So uh, I'm gonna let you know or explain you next week why FUT is still an option for you if you have already done FUE and we are gonna be looking at my situation and I'm gonna be showing you how many grafts do I have still available right now after my two transplants if I would choose FUT of course. Some of you have been watching my videos and are more educated on this topic know that the graft yield is going to be better. Okay, so you are right. It's the case. But is it going to be also in my case since I have already done two transplants? So it's going to be a very interesting video. So make sure you check it out next week again. And we are going to be looking into that. Okay, very interesting video. Now for all you new guys who are interested in a hair transplant or better said seriously considering but you don't really know which clinic is reliable, who is the right doctor to, uh, you know, to go to, somebody who will not over harvest the donor area, who will think long term, who will properly educate you. As if you are interested in some solid recommendations, I highly suggest you to sign up for a consultation with me still possible uh, I'm checking my applications every day and replying to all of you guys and scheduling the calls with you whenever it's good for both of us all right guys that was it for me thank you so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video also don't forget to join our Facebook group hair transplant experiences in case you want to learn something from other guys and exchange your experience with us